can't even tell how big those flakes are like this, but looks like someone's dropping snowballs on you. Hey, what's up, Obi Tribe? Thanks for joining us today. Today we are up here in the snowy, snowy mountains, chained up in the truck, about to head up a trail. And we are gonna be doing some fun stuff. We are gonna be doing a hot tent setup in one of our Outdoor Vitals tents. We're gonna see how that goes, see what that's all about, um, which is gonna be really nice considering the weather. Um, it's just been a wide out on the drive over here. No one's up here, um, so it should be a really good time. We've got a couple guys from the office back here. We got Darren and Brigham. Uh, we're gonna be doing some shed hunting. It's kind of a fun pastime here that uh, we participate in in Utah. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can get this hot tent set up to work out and see what we think using a titanium stove in a tent. Hey, what's up guys? So we made it up here to where we're gonna make camp. This is our view. I mean, look how gorgeous. Dead silent up here, but it's been a pretty miserable trip, honestly, so far for the weather. Uh, it's just been, it's been uh, snowing like crazy. It's super wet, we're hot, we're hiking. And so I'm wearing the dragon wool piece right now. It's actually pretty dry, but I took off my layers to let this dry out. Um, so that's kind of just a, just a pro tip. Make sure you're always letting your layers dry. Um, right back here. That's where we're gonna set camp. So we're kind of pounding out of the areas. I'll kind of let you watch as I set up the tent and um, that stove and you can see what this is gonna be like. All right, so this is the hole that I've kind of stomped out for my shelter. I'm gonna go ahead and set up that shelter and I'll kind of show you what it's like to put that titanium stove up and we'll see if it's gonna work for me. All right, so I got the tent set up. I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up some stove pipe and then we'll move to the actual stove and kind of see how we're gonna take this right out this zipper flap and use um, a device that I've got somewhere here to keep that stove pipe out of the way, so. All right, so we got the stove pipe built. Now let's go ahead and build the stove. All right, so we got the stove all set up. It is all piped correctly up there and we are ready to go. Probably gonna put a different mat under this or just kind of watch this really closely. It's not the most ideal situation, but um, I'm gonna start stoking this. And we're gonna use some pyro putty, Route Revitals edition of pyro putty. This is something that we're gonna be um, getting really soon. So if you've followed us for a while, you know that I am a big believer in having some kind of fire starter in case, you know, the worst happens. And so we worked together to build a custom boom custom blend of a, of a fire starter. This particular fire starter, um, you just pull off as much as you need. I'll kind of show it to you here. So you, you can pull off as little or as much as you need. You don't really need a lot because it burns a long time. A nickel sized ball of this is gonna burn for um, like five minutes. Anyways, we've done this as an ultralight blend, so it's a lighter weight blend. Um, it has mosquito repellent in it. You can actually rub this up if you had a spot on your boot that um, was not waterproof. You can actually rub this on there because of the wax in it and seal some threads or do different things. It's just a really versatile piece. Um, should be seeing more on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. We're gonna start a little fire. I'm gonna start melting some snow. My water's going a little faster than I thought it would, so. Um, All right, so I put just a little bit of this on the end of this stick. I'm gonna set that in here. Pile sticks all around that, and we'll see if we can't get this thing going. Everything's real wet up here, just because it's been snowing like crazy, real wet snow. Got some flames going. It's cold and windy and snowing off and on outside, but 
in here we are rocking all right so we're in here having dinner cooking up a mountain house got the stove rolling what do you guys think it's nice it's warm I like it <laughs> A little warmer here than outside in the cold? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty much, you can see my face is a little red. It's pretty hot in here. So, so far it's a success. We'll see how it does throughout the night. I'm going to stoke it once when I go to bed. And we'll see how well it kind of keeps that. And then I'll probably light it up when I get up in the morning as well. But I'm not going to try to stoke it all through the night. I think that that's would be super, super tough. But So I... <clears throat> So I thought I'd try a little trick last night, sleeping on an emergency blanket to see if I could increase the R value of my pad. And I would say it increased at about five degrees. Survived the night and it was quite pleasant. I've already had my uh, morning breakfast. Been cooking it right here on the stove. Everything's going along really well. We still have a ton of wood. But as you can see here, it was snowing all last night. Not all last night, but um, snowing and all sorts of stuff going on out there. So it was very pleasant in here. Um, this is quite addicting. I think that I'll have to continue expanding on this and working on this because um, it was nice. I mean, this time of year, it just was really, really nice and um, would probably give me an option to bring like my wife and kids out here to do this type of a thing in the winter. But um, I'll take you outside, let you see kind of the additional snow that came down but overall it's just a, a really nice experience we hung out in here all last night and then went to bed and then um, i stoked the fire um, just one time at three o'clock and there's still hot coals in there and i gave it a little while and it kicked it kicked on and burned the rest of those things that i put in there so i didn't even have to relight it and then i did the same thing at seven this morning and yeah i just had a had a good night's sleep so the uh, hot stove setup worked super well. All right, so we just broke camp. We're gonna be heading out down that way and across to hopefully that blue sky over there, but you kind of see where the tent was last night and see some of the coals where I dumped them out and some of the wood stock, but um, yeah, overall super awesome experience. It would dry all your stuff out, stay warm. Uh, definitely the setup that I had probably wasn't the most conductive or best option just because it was kind of tight, I think, when you use a stove. The bigger the shelter, probably the better, but I uh, still really enjoyed it. So we're going to cut down and start hiking out through all that 